सो हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग्स लाइक एग्जांपल्स ऑफ कॉन्कैटिनेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग एंड चेकिंग द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग एंड द लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वैल्यूज कंपेयर्ड एंड सो ऑन सो ऑल द एग्जाम विथ एग्जांपल्स विल परफॉर्म स्ट्रिंग ऑपरेशंस हियर so basically i have started with the print string concatenation so i have just given a statement to be printed that is string concatenation uh, basically i have taken a variable that is name equal to good so it is a string which i want to assign at the left value that is name okay that is a object <coughs> then i am going to print the value okay so first let's just run this so can uh, the we can uh, check the results and we can understand accordingly okay yes so it's going it's running now all the operations are being run uh, working here this is the basics yes so here we are what first thing i have done is print string concatenation that is showing as string concatenation similarly i have assigned a value to the object that is name so i have printed the name so it is showing good so what i have to do is i have to take one more variable that is val1 or a object so i am going to assign morning string value to the val and what i am going to do is i am going to modify it but how i'm going to modify that is i'm using concatenation of the string values do you know what is the meaning of concatenation the meaning of concatenation is adding two string values when you want to merge the first string and the second string then you have to use concatenation of the value that is by using plus value that is a operator so i'm going to print the updated or modified value that is mod value and i'm going to print this so my updated value is good morning so i had taken basically two variable uh, the variables that is good and morning and i concatenated it so the modified value is good morning similarly i'm going to check the total length of the value that is modified so mod mod value of then i have used a length method that is len and <clears throat> I, have, I have to print that so after printing it is showing that is the string uh, length is 11 then what i have done is delete val1 so what is my val1 that is morning so i want to delete and i need i want to update it okay so for that what may i have used that is delete of op operation delete mod method i have used so after deleting i have assigned another value for it that is afternoon so instead of morning i have uh, added afternoon into the valve of, val variable so the modified value that is name plus val1 that is going to print the updated value that is good afternoon so the updated before value was good morning and the changed value is good afternoon so let's work on list number of values okay so i'm going to take l1 and l2 concatenated values and i'm going i'm going to take some list of values that is l1 is equal to 11 22 33 44 so these are the array of list values and uh, one thing you have to observe all the time that is list is in enclosed with square brackets okay and it is separated with commas if i'm going to take a list of values as numbers then i have to enter just numbers but if i'm going to take string values then it should be entered within the parenthesis and uh, sorry this uh, for not parenthesis i have to uh, enclose with uh, double quotes then it will be converted to a string value 
as it will be considered as integer value. So here uh, my old values I am going to print that is yes here old values are 11, 22, 33 and 44 and I am going to add one more list that is 55 and 66. I want to concatenate both the string uh, vari values here. These are not string values, they are integer values. So I want to concatenate both values of list and my new value is assigned to the result. So I have taken one more new ob object where I am going to insert the two values and I am going to print the value. So this is my list value after modifying 11, 22, 33, 44 and 55 and 66 this is how the concatenation of the string values is done in the list so and uh, so here I have taken some other values that is student name where I am going to assign some string values as the student names and I am going to print the student names okay so then the print method of student name of one what does it mean one the one is nothing but it is the index value of a string value in the list it is going to show me the index of the values so in this list my first value stands for zeroth index second is for one and third is for two so index of 0 stands for Janvi, index 1 is Mansi and index 2 is Parish. So what I want to print is 1. So what will be my result? That is Mansi. So I want to display only one value that is index of 1. So let's run this and then compare the results. So I am going to click on the run debug and python debugger I am going to do and I will be running the output. Yes. So here uh, my all the results have come. Okay, yes, number of students are Janvin, Mansi and Parish and when I asked for the first two index of the value that is Mansi is printed. Similarly, modify, I am going to modify it. Uh, in the place of one name, I am going to change with the other name or I can add a uh, surname or anything can be modified here if it, the data had to be uh, modified okay so wh what I have done is student name of 0 so 0 stands for index of 0 that is Janvi is assigned with Pavni so what happens here is my th the name Janvi is replaced with Pavni that is updated then modified that data I am going to print so that will be shown with the values that is Pavni Mansi and Parish. Okay, then next what I'm going to do is delete method I'm using. What does it mean? So it is going to delete one value among the index of the values that is in name of 2. So what 2 stands for that is Paris. So after deleting the value, what I'm going to get is Pavni and Mansi. Because my Parish name is deleted. Okay. Then what I am going to do is check number for even or odd. Okay. So I just uh, checked with the string uh, in list values of index. Now I am going to perform a simple operation of even and odd. So what it does mean here I am going to take loop. That is for i in range 1 to 20. So it is going to give me 1 to 20 values and 1 is for 1 increment at a time. So it shows the incremental size. So if i mod 2 is double equal to 0. So what does it mean? What mod stands for? The mod is the result 
resultant value so when you when a value is divided by 2 and the remainder what result comes that will be compared with the zero so if the uh, remainder value is equal to zero then the even value will be printed else the odd number will be printed so that condition applies here so i'm going to have given 1 to 20 range of values where i'll be printing so convert then it will be given here so after uh, here what i have done odd numbers and even numbers so continuously till 20 it will be looping one after the other so as i have given here the condition incremental is one so it will be changing every time like one is odd number two is even number like that it will compare and it will show just a minute i'll show you the result yes you can see here three is odd numbers four is even five six these are odd and even numbers that is it is showing odd numbers 19 why it is showing 90 when i have given 20 condition that is because it takes the index value so it is going to take the index that is it takes 0 to 19 which gives me 20 results okay then what i'm going to do is converting string to int okay okay a is equal to 5. I Previously, I have told you when a value is enclosed within the quotes, single quote or double quote, then it is considered as a string value, right? So, my 5 value is now a string value which I want to convert it to int. That is, I am going to use as print of int of a, then it is converting to that data type. So, the result is converting string to int, that is 5. Now, I am going to convert the int to data type okay so number i have taken is 5 and i want to convert it to string okay so a uh, string of value that is uh, str of num that is giving me 5 okay finally i am going to take as print x is equal to 10 so basically i have given 10 as a string value to the x and i want to print the 10 value into the format of float okay first it was in the string method then i am going to convert the value to the float that is 10.0 this is how my basic uh, program runs in the uh, visual studio so we'll continue in the next class. Thank you so much for watching.